I want to first talk about Nelly from. I want to first talk Nelly about Furtado? Nelly, not the one with the band aid. <laughs> not Nelly Furtado, I'm okay. like a bird. Okay. I want to talk about Nelly like, from Little House in the Prairie oh. in a wheelchair flying down a mountain. <laughs> Oh, baby. That's all I want to talk oh, about. Baby. Do you have forty five minutes to talk I have, about I have it? forty five days to talk about it. between you, Amy Sedaris, like Devin Green. Someone's always sharing it, and every time it comes up, I'm like, "Thank God, it's never God. not good. It's, it's never a, not good. It's always it's, like, it's it's always time for a cocktail. Yeah. It's always time for that video. Yeah, I love, I love that video. I love the that screaming. Video. <laughs> it's um. It's like a. Uh, it must be a dream sequence or something within the show because I don't think they would let kids do something so violent. No, 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 no. That was a documentary. <laughs> that was a documentary um, that produced by the BBC about um, life, life in rural Kansas. <laughs> Did you ever see Little House on the Prairie? I, I have never. I always get confused because I always think, oh, that guy, uh, the dad died of AIDS, but that was, of course, the Brady Bunch. No, but the dad and little, I mean, the dad and the Brady Bunch is cute. Yeah. Oh, but, but the, dad the dad and the, and little, the house? little house is gorgeous. He's a two and gorgeous. He's a devours cute. Exactly. A two hander. So handsome. Oh, stunning. Thick, glossy brown hair, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, beautiful. And, and like, run your fingers through it. And oh, I'm not going to lie. When the, the daughter goes blind and opens the school for the blind with her blind boyfriend, because there's a lot of illnesses and stuff like on the prairie. Yeah, she's, she has vision. And then loses her vision, and then opens the school for the blind, like and she Beethoven. overcomes. It's it's really sweet. What about um? What would you do if you lost your hearing? Yeah, you know I've thought about this a lot because oh, I'm so sorry. For, for example, I wouldn't have answered that. <laughs> I would have been more present. <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> Let's take a break. No. Um, I'm gonna push you up. <laughs> yeah, push me down in the wheelchair, please. If you ever push me what? down a, a, a hill in a wheelchair. No, when, I want the when, Victorian when. wicker one that they have because oh, it's like the prairie one. Yes, remember Nightmare on Elm Street three? Remember the um the one with all the spikes? Yeah, that was that was really crazy. That would be my wheelchair. Sure, That'd be my wheelchair. That was really that. That's dream. a lot, Robin. <laughs> Honestly, Robin, if yeah. you're not going to come to come to some kind of resolution here, you can leave with half your color on. I was just thinking about that yesterday, Robin. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> that was a lot, Robin. Oh, that was God. wild. Oh my God. That's like a, that it's a Sharon. Her name's Sharon. I follow her on TikTok. The real, the real stylist. That is, comes directly after the wheelchair flies up down the hill. Wow. Robin, that, <laughs> <laughs> Robin, that was a well, lot. You don't have to draw. You don't have fucking can't take right now. <laughs> no, I hit you so hard. I'm so like, hard. No, but no, hit me. I can't, hit fu- her, <laughs> I can't fucking take it. Are you watching these? Do you get in this algorithm of hairstylists doing their consultations on camera? Miss Honey Faggot. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Miss bitch. Nelly Honey Miss Fag- Nelly Honey Faggot. <laughs> sit down in your sit down in your wickered descending Strapping. wheelchair and oh start screaming. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. So okay, so walk the, me through the, it. So like there's a TikTok camera uh, here, mm. a phone, I believe they're called. TikTok cameras? Yeah, yeah. Phones. AKA a phone. Yes. A and it's camera. always someone seated. We gotta get YouTube down here to film this. <laughs> so that. And it's always yes. someone seated. By the way, okay. you haven't said anything about my light <laughs> sea foam green fish nets. They, Okay, pluck my eyes out because color me colorblind. Yeah, look at the top. Sea foam. That's your man. That- look at the screen. That's mine. <laughs> wait, wait. Are you are you are you fucking with me? No, look are at you- the camera. They are a little blue. Do you see it? Color color coordination. Uh yes. <laughs> it's called <laughs> yes and. Little, oh, uh, oh no. Yeah. You Can do we that- start over? No, 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 no. You do that. You do you're so brave with that gloss. I just tried this lipstick courage. on today. The bravery and courage. I'm always trying new stuff. And yeah. This is a little glossy for me. Yeah. But I thought- well, because the hair's not swinging. Right. It'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just thought on camera it would make my lips look like wet now, pussy but- lips. <laughs> South mouth. That everyone <laughs> would want to fuck. <laughs> Let's go back to the leg. Yeah. Your leg. W-Y-O. And if you're a fan of this R E. guess yeah. what? You got to <laughs> double your pleasure. <laughs> Why have one when you get two twice the price? Although I read on a chronic pain Reddit that you're not supposed to cross your legs ever. Oh my God, you're absolutely fucking so right. So I think you are women absolutely... should be man spreading. This used to be sexy. Ladies on the subway. We're not supposed to do this. Why do you think, like, uh, uh, let me tell you something I've never told you, told you before. So I've had hip problems. <laughs> I can't believe you're opening up. Like I know, this. I know. It took a, it required. I mean, the vulnerability and the bravery um, to, to for me to say something that I've never said before yeah. 
is 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 pretty impressive. But this is a huge antagonist, right, huge right. antagonist, huge. It is big mistake. And huge. What's tough about it is nobody said that. A, that a decade of splits with no stretching. No, no, that's not the problem. Drug use no, 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 that would w- lead to. But see, that wasn't the problem at all. Osteoarthritis. No, no, it was just the crossing. None of the other stuff. Um, none of <laughs> none of those other things you mentioned, which ordinarily would be a, a major factor. But in a way, it was in. the crossing. <laughs> The crossing, the crossing over, the crossing, the crossing, the crossing, the crossing from, over from, from now on, from now on, it is from now on, from now on, it is crossing over with Melissa Edwards. Yeah, a, that is what drag yeah. is. <laughs> crossing over with Melissa Edwards. She's a full cross, a full crossy. Well, crossy Easter, the original cross dresser. Who's crossy Easter? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> She did have long hair. Bundles. She had long hair. She was bundles. bundled. Quick weave. Um, she yeah. She um, in. She bundled. She was um, uh, gowns, mm. gowns, entourage. Um, uh, they say robes. I say gowns. caftan. Ca- thank you. Um, so wait, have you been watching Curb? Oh, like outside, like yeah, standing the side- on the <laughs> standing on the sidewalk and just looking at the side of the road. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, hours a day, <laughs> hours a day. Because when that? I'm out there on the corner. <laughs> Sucking cock. <laughs> what else am I supposed to watch? And when I have that big cock in my mouth, that big, hateful, uncut, <laughs> nasty, linty thing, I look out the corner of my the eyes at the curb thing. and I go, <laughs> <laughs> that big old bean eating. No, but I have a crush cup. on curb. I want to become a curb person. Are we talking about the same thing? Curb yeah, I've only seen okay. a couple episodes in my life. Oh my God. I mean, oh, you got to get into this gig. The, well, the Susie Green in the show has a. She's got a thing about ca- calf. She she makes a caftan. She has a caftan business, and she, it's a pun that I don't understand what it is. But now that you're not on board, this this can't really go anywhere. Well, can I go back to the hair consultations? Yeah. So they film people, and they go, "Hi, my pronouns are she, her, whatever," and okay. they make the person in the chair say it, which is lovely, fine, great, love it, love it. Well, my love day. It. Yeah. And you know what? If you have your conservative clients, your liberal clients are like, "It's actually they, him." Thank you. Yeah. yeah your yeah. conservative client will go. My pronouns are kiss my ass. And yeah. that's fun and everyone wins. Yes. Every, nobody doesn't like that. Everyone loves yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It's it, so fun. It's classic. It's original. <laughs> it's always right on time. Yeah. And it um, doesn't ruffle any feathers ever. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, love it. But I also love, there's a new, there's a new, there's a new, uh, sound? Not, like not faggot, but there's a new word. Nelly? That's no. Old Can you look up the new gender word? And wait, are you joking? No, no, no. There is a, it's called like FAFSA, but I know that that's for that's, student that's loans, <laughs> but it's something like that. A what? No. Emoji Get gender? The, when I, girl, when Get I was- the FAFSA apl- off the screen. I'm not okay. doing that. Honey, <laughs> when I was applying for student loans, that process of a FAFSA, I no. really was 17 going, do I really want to go to college? A hundred. It is, it do is I like- really um, want to go? It's, it's absolutely, um, what do you call that? A, a gatekeeping um a hundred percent. And I remember filling out that FAFSA thinking if college is anything like this, the way I am dropping out, yeah. I think the FAFSA was harder than college. A hundred percent. Well, I mean, I, I'll never forget a therapist. I've had his therapist years ago. who's like the hardest thing about getting into Harvard was getting into Harvard. But, well, no, sorry. The hardest thing about Harvard was getting into Harvard. It's like yeah. so prohibitive. FAFSA is a labyrinthine maze of bureaucratic nonsense. Yeah. Horrible. Horrible. So when they do the consultation. Yeah. They go, can I touch you? Which I, I get it. I get it. But aren't, how are we going to cut and color hair without touching people? Are we doing telekinesis? <laughs> like, care. can care. I touch you? What if the person goes, oh, there's touching involved in this? They're like, absolutely, absolutely not. not. I thought you were going to whisper from about six meters distance and then my hair was going to turn. Yeah. I know it's a formality, Yeah. but it's those moments where I'm full. I'm like, am I red state? Yeah. <sighs> am I, you know, I'm like, can I touch you? Yeah. Can I touch you there, Michael Bolton? Do you know that one? Can I touch you there? No. Is that a song? Michael Bolton. Tell me how am I supposed to live without you? Would you fuck you? Michael Bolton? Yeah. The long, voice. Long hair, short hair. Which do you prefer? Short. Short. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It was because it's. It was always hard. You know, people have been sharing the perennial share of my of of me versus Brian. You know, in the seventies is going around. Yeah. And he had a very receding hairline with a long, long, long shag. Sure. And I, we look exactly the same. You do. Yeah. So I, I'm tempted to to glue a few tracks in on the bottom around, like um, what you call it, um, uh, Mr. Burns. Sure. Except long, 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 and just really let the kids have it. Play a keyboard. <laughs> 
Well, I don't know if you followed your presence online for the last 10 years. There's not a shortage of photos of you out of makeup with a wig on. <laughs> there's a there's more pictures of you with no makeup on with a wig on than there is in drag. Damn. But I I, I still gonna get those tracks. Will you do it? May I ask you if Will I hot glue the tracks yeah, yeah, to your yeah. head? For, Absolutely. We gotta get a TikTok camera though, and then I'm gonna ask if you can. We touch have to me. reveal it like love is blind though. <laughs> like a door slides open, and I don't know who reacts to you. God. Anyone. The guy from Little House. The, uh, <laughs> Okay, either he's not with us anymore or he's the oldest living person at this point because that was like 40 years ago with, now. Right? Yeah, he's always with us. Is he I in the loved room that right? show. I've never seen, I gotta, I gotta go back. I mean, there's so many, oh, I gotta go back. That's That and the, the Brady Bunch I have to revisit. Nothing touches the Brady Bunch. I know, I'm you, sure. You know, I never got why I loved it and this is dark and I'm sure this is why a lot of people loved it. I was watching it and David was like, why do you like this show? And I said, I honestly think it was such a fun house reverse. Yeah. Of my family Absolutely. life. That I, it was, it was. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It was flawless. Yeah. I family mean, was, problems that could be solved in 30 minutes. Same thing with, I mean, you know, the Cosby show. Right. You know. Well, yeah. I loved the Cosby show. I used to watch it every day after school. Well, some of those problems took a lot longer to solve ultimately. <laughs> also, do you, I mean, the revelation, that was pretty, that was pretty shocking. <sighs> Let's take <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp. What is the first thing you'd do if you had an extra hour in your day? I think about this a lot because there's this witching hour between like dinner and bedtime that I feel like I'm always like, oh, I have so many hours of the evening left and then I blink and it's over and I always go to bed thinking what I should have done. Or when I sleep in, I'm always like, God, I should have got, or got up early and did something, you know? A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time, but the truth is, if you had it, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that extra thing into your schedule is to know what is important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can make more of it. I cannot tell you how important that is. Sometimes the balancing act when you're up close in 3D and it's in your brain, it is so impossible to like visualize your life as some kind of like Jenga puzzle that you've built. And when you sit down with somebody at BetterHelp and you're engaging in talk therapy, suddenly all the pieces seem movable. Different ways through things seem visible. And it's like, wow, I, I can't tell you how much talking about things makes you realize you have a lot of solutions that you're capable of the whole time. I know for me, therapy helps me make the balancing act of work and life actually an, not an act in like rubber to the road. It introduces things like accountability and like making conscious changes in my life instead of just complaining how things stay the same. If you're starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's convenient, flexible, it's suited to your schedule. I love to talk to my BetterHelp therapist outside on my iPad in the morning when I'm having my tea. I love going outside and talking with my headphones in and feeling kind of like private. Um, I like that. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch at any time for no additional charge. One of my first therapists at BetterHelp, the first person I tried, we, we just didn't have schedule compatibility. And it was so nice to be able to switch just even based on that. Because the time change, I was like, I can't do therapy at 7 a.m. That gives me a reason for therapy. You know what I mean? Make time for what makes you happy at BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash bald today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Do you use the internet to perform e-commerce transactions or send electronic mail to an admirer with whom you're totally smitten? What about that website you've wanted to launch for years where you have a chat room talking about 1993's seminal Sylvester Stallone Wesley Snipes film Demolition Man? Look, if you want to talk about all the Taco Bell product placement in that movie at length with your fellow demolition heads, you need Squarespace. What is Squarespace? Squarespace is a platform that literally allows anyone to create a beautiful, professional website with ease. As someone who has exactly 57 websites about the origin of the fork, I owe Squarespace a debt of gratitude as I'm now the preeminent fork historian at several Ivy League colleges. As a busy fork lecturer with barely enough time to turn on my laptop, I can safely say that anyone who needs a website can use Squarespace to create a custom website. It's truly that easy. Squarespace has an unparalleled portfolio of product features for whatever website you're looking to launch. And after you've launched, if you need help with marketing, Squarespace has a feature that helps drive sales and engage your audience with creative email campaigns. 
My utensil-themed newsletter has exploded because of Squarespace's marketing features. Squarespace makes it easy to sell and manage your business online, covering everything from your store to payouts and payments in one platform. With Squarespace payments, you can accept Klarna, giving customers even more ways to pay. Buy now, pay later options like Klarna give customers more flexibility and increase conversion. Squarespace payments is available for all new Squarespace customers in the U.S. Set up Squarespace payments in minutes and start accepting payments from customers right away. Until June 30th, Klarna is available at 2.99% plus 30 cents with Squarespace payments. After that, it will be 4.5% plus 30 cents. And if that's not enough, I got one more for you. Online courses. That's right. Squarespace has all of the tools you need to create and sell your very own course and even set it up to be a one-time payment and or subscription. Those are just three features Squarespace offers. There are so many more. So go ahead and check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, that's squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I have something to share with you that I just think is crazy. Oh I just have something crazy. To Shangela share. Merkel. I need you to hear this. Okay. This direct. You know, I think in the wake of, in the wake of a mandatory meeting, mm. I, I think it's going to usher in a new and exciting age of ridiculous drag names. Okay. Right. Oh, not Anita oh. Bump. Not no. Corny. No Anitas. I'm not Anita. Sorry. No my Anita my, Wiglet. I need a bump. I need a cocktail. Need a We're co not doing that. I know any, she's a lovely person, but I, just, I need uh, a career change. Thank you. I That's need a new name. Need. But I need you to hear this one because yeah. I can't fucking take it. Okay. I need you to hear it and take it inside okay. you. Okay. Okay. Is that a TikTok phone or a regular phone? This is a TikTok camera. Oh yeah. yeah. I can't believe I told a call to phone a TikTok that camera. Is, well, you've graduated. So you need to hear you this. You completed your FAFSA. I'm Tara Dickoff. This is Like get get, get like, me. I'm in the I'm wheelchair. Tara Dickoff. This. Tara Dickoff. Can you make that a ringtone? Is that still a thing? I'm is that Tara Dickoff. Hi, I'm Tara Dickoff, and this is the BBC World Service. Tara Dickoff. <laughs> at first, it offended me. Mm. I like, and now you love it. I, at first, I was like, Chris Jenner with that laptop, like, hmm, and just yeah, closing yeah. the laptop. I'm Chris Jenner with the gun. The and then it kind of marinated. Like an hour yeah. later, I was like, I mean, I Tara want Tara Dickoff. <laughs> I, say, it, say it again. Do, do it again. Do it again. Say it again, girl. Tara Dickoff. I'm Tara Dickoff. I just love that I my brain fills in the rest with I'm Tara Dickoff, and this is uh the you know da, 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 this da, da, is sixty da. minutes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I'm live on the scene with um uh da, 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 da. that's funny. Tara Dickoff. Tara Dick. <laughs> well, there was a Katya Kakoff. Oh, or there is. She's not. She's still with us. Well, that's that's a little more surgical. Yeah. There's a blade involved yeah. tearing a dick off, <laughs> like grabbing it, it and pulling it off. <laughs> well, it's like, oh God, it's like um in that um and leaving the balls. Oh yeah. Well, no, the um who was telling me about it? I guess in the human was it the human centipede? Or something. One of those horrible movies that um my friend Gage worked on. They had to they had to do a whole one take with the the balls and the dick and just literally Yeah, it was really gross. Really gross. The through the I think they were through the legs from the back. And then, oh, they were prosthetics? Yeah. It was oh. like really gross, but it was like fierce how they did it. <laughs> I'm like, by the way, why did I ask, was it prosthetics? You're like, no, no, they were real. <laughs> it was, they not, were real. It was a little house documentary. <laughs> yeah. That's what put them in the wheelchair. What do you think about the kink people who are into eating people? Not Cannibalism? Not cannibalism. Oh. But like swallowing someone whole. That's like a kink people have is that they have oh. a big pregnant belly with a person in there. Oh, that's funky. That's funky. Funky and wild. Yeah, that's funky. Well, because it's not real, right? I mean, it's like, that's pure fantasy. Yeah. Like, so I don't see anything wrong with that. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's like- Because um, you're not going to be able to swallow a person whole. So no, it's really a, no. a victimless crime. It's a victim. It's just, it's just flights of fancy. I mean, if, um, I mean, think about it this way. They make uh, little baby dolls that go to the bathroom. Yeah. That to me is more, that's yeah. jail. That uh, that to me is more. It's not jail. I think that's to me is more shocking than the fantasy of consuming somebody whole. Are they chewing them up? Or no, they just, they're whole. They're like whole in there, like like being carried like a baby. Oh, I love that because then it's like um, it's like the the guy who was in the whale stomach for like you know an hour or something. Oh, um, uh, Tara Dickoff. No, the guy in the whale. 
A Brandon Fraser. It was Brandon Fraser. Oh my god. That's how he got the job on the whale. <laughs> he was in a whale. And they were like, they're like, are you going to do some acting? And he said, as soon as I fucking get out of this yeah. whale, because it was an invisible whale. <laughs> do you know how much of the ocean is unexplored? Mama, don't, don't get me started about Miss Ocean, <laughs> like, Miss Danny Ocean. It's oh. so many leagues. I think leagues, leagues is the terminology. Absolutely. There are species we don't know about. And Giant should squids never. squids that we don't know. Never. We have no business down Lumin there. Bioluminescence. We have no business down we there. We got no business. Bioluminescence, of course, just talk about that. It's just Googling and and like fright, fright gooning at the Drake Passage videos on YouTube again. Girl. It's, I, I just, why? Why? We have no business. No business. And of course, I'm, I'm Googling, you know, get on the rabbit hole of natural disasters. Can't stay away from the 2004 tsunami. Can't stay away from it. What do you, Cannot what's compelling about it to you? It's what's compelling is that it's just so easy. I mean, I can just put myself in that situation so clearly, so quickly, so easily because you're, you're like, you're browning your, your tanned, gross white body on the, on the, you don't see a sand. huge wave coming. No, 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 no. It comes out so of nowhere. It comes out of nowhere. It's like, Oh, okay. Like the, the, the waves are going just so, and then all of a sudden there's a, a slightly bigger wave. And then the, the, um, the tide is getting pulled out remarkably, um, uh, further and then before you know it the water just fucking rushes what? and 220,000 people died do you know what it was what it was um Tara Dickoff jumping into the I don't no like not to be dumb about science how does a tsunami manifest some okay earthquake earthquake because how does a, a wave like that come yeah. out of nowhere yeah so, so an earthquake I think happened off of the coast of I don't know because there was that there's a plate or there's what do you call that? There's a um, fault line around the the Pacific or something. I don't forget. But anyway, I was like, it was there was a big big earthquake, and then it was, oh my god, that is just terrifying, terrifying. It's the terrifying. That's the terrifier. Yeah. Did you see the Naomi Watts movie? It's terrifying. You know, I'm assuming not to be ignorant. I'm assuming, no matter how great of a swimmer. That's out the window at that point. Well, yeah, because what's no going on- No amount of swimming is helping you. Not not necessarily because, I mean, certainly it would help, but when you're, so you're in the water, you know what's in the water? Cars, broken glass, debris. Sharks? Um, I think, honestly, sharks are probably the least of your worries. It's more likely you will get like, I don't know, washed into a building and exactly. stuck in there as it fills up. Exactly. Or like, or like um, you will be, yeah, or a car will hit you underwater God. and break your legs off. Crazy. Crazy. We do live pretty close to the ocean. Yeah. And also, like, I'm constantly reminded that we're due for the big one. Like, just in terms of the timing. It would have to be big, though, because no, 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 I have yeah. slept through every I know. single I know. earthquake since I, I moved here eight years ago. I know. The only ones that I've felt are the ones I feel like, oh, the, the guy upstairs is like, just fell over, like, fell off the bed or something. Exactly. And I learned it was an it was an earthquake. But like the one in um the Northridge one in whatever 19 something. Like that was so big and that's like we're due. Oh god. Yeah. If you were going to die in a natural disaster, what do you realistically think? Cuz you know, remember I survived a tornado, I, which is truly Mid truly terrifying. Truly terrifying. Yes, but I lived. And you what <laughs> do you think it would be I guess because we live in LA, an earthquake. Yeah. Is a plane going down a natural disaster? Um, I think, I mean, planes never go down. Yeah, it's like- They, they really, do in the small planes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Like JFK Jr. And Carolina the more Bissette. famous you and I get- Oh my God, girl. It's more likely you die in the car on the way to the airport. Absolutely. Absolutely. People should be more appropriate. Like, I'm always tickled. I've, I know I've said it a million times, but I've, I'm always like perplexed when people are like, I'm so afraid of flying. It's like- you should be afraid of taking the Uber from to the airport or wherever. Yeah. That should be that should terrify you. Although the traffic in LA is so bad, we're not going fast enough to get injured. Oh, I couldn't even get whiplash the I traffic mean, on the way to the airport. Oh, sure. But I mean, like that I'm the 101. I was on the 101 yesterday. Mad Max Fury Road. Honey. Mad Max Fury Road. Baby. Mad Max Fur Furiosa. And I look the way they Charlie's drive, I just go, I see them driving and I go, pills. Oh, that's pills. Drunk. That's snorting pills. I, drunk. Drunk. Fully drunk. 11 a.m. Any time of the day. Any time of the day. And it's like, so you would try to avoid rush hour and you're like, okay, I'm going to avoid rush hour. In a way, it's like you're almost safer in rush hour because you, you can't go that fast. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But like, oh, it's it's absolutely Mad Max Furiosa. It's yeah. It's the terrifier. Do you like rush hour in the movie? With Jackie Chan? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, and Chris Tucker. Is Chris Tucker... I wish, because Miss Ruby from Fifth Element, uh-huh. she eats. Oh, she, but she, oh, she's ultra, ultra, ultra gay. Who would play... Todrick could play her. I was going to say, absolutely. Todrick, Todrick could play her. She's or, very tiny. She's very tiny. Do you know that guy, Nick, who does Kleptora, the Door of the Explorer, who steals? No, Kleptora, oh. that's funny. Yeah. That's fierce. I, you know, Jean-Paul Gaultier designed all those costumes in The Fifth Element. That animal print and the the the, the version so of it good. that's all red roses. Oh, so good. Ah. So cunty. And then Plava Laguna. Plava Laguna. Girl. She eats. And obviously, Mila Jovovich, mm-hmm. the white I know. Imagine outfit. Imagine though, like the that would be so stressful, like as an actress to like she's in that pretty much the whole movie. And Bruce Willis is hot in that movie. Oh, he got little blonde hair. Hot, hot, jerkin, hot. jerkin, jerkin, yeah. jerkin, absolutely. Hot. Setsy. And Gary Oldman. Yes. Gary Oldman. The is makeup the, in that movie. Is cunty. It's cunty. Those big monsters with the amazing, yeah, obviously cunty. the Diva Laguna. That makeup's amazing. Yeah. That movie, it's just amazing. The yeah. scope of it, the yeah. music. Luke Besson. It Luke Besson. gives. It's so good. Did you see Lucy? Did you see Lucy? He did that Lucy one. The weird like Scarlett Johansson as a drug mule and it explodes in her body. No. Oh, it's so crazy. I mean, it's stupid. What? Did you watch The Island? I don't think so. With Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson and they live in a colony that they're being told that they're like the last survivors, whatever. And oh. then they escape and find out it's the future, and celebrities have paid for versions in the self to exist for organs to harvest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn. If you had the money, would you clone yourself to have organs like, for harvesting? Like Barbara Streisand? Well, she has a mall in her basement, which I think is a better no, but she, use of the she money. She cloned her dog, I think. I think she cloned her dog. Yeah, yeah. She cloned her dog. She cloned my dog. She cloned my dog. <laughs> woke up and I said, hello, Gorgeous. <laughs> So when are you gonna when are you gonna when are you gonna just become a Barbara Streisand impersonator? That's what everybody wants to know. Hold up her right, pressure's by. No, that's so bad. That was like, what is what that? Is that? <laughs> what is that? Girl? Hello, I'm Barbara Streisand. Hello, I'm Barbara Streisand. What is that? She, that's pretty good. She, she, Barbara Streisand. I think of the Barbara, nails. You're gonna do the nails. Barbara Streisand. I'm Barbara I'm just Streisand. I'm gonna come up here and sing a song. You know what I mean? I love the nailography of the nailography. Also, a crippling stage fright. Crippling. That makes Absolutely sense because every crippling. time she goes on stage, she hits the. <laughs> Well, that her was her in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and she hits the ground and her nails just twitching. I think she's, she's really, you know, it's funny, like the, you know how everybody in LA has had a nose job or anywhere, anywhere, has, you know, not her. No. You know, David was watching the other day. What was he watching? Funny Girl. Yeah. And by it. the way, we're in bed. He's going to sleep. He's mm-hmm. going to sleep. He's going to sleep. Till rain my parade starts. And I swear to God, he woke up out of a dead sleep and watched it and went back to sleep. Gay. That's gay. Gay, gay, That's gay. gay. Do you know, do you, are you familiar with her oeuvre? Yeah. I mean, of course I've seen um, Hello, Dolly. Okay. You know, um, and that's about it. <laughs> Meet the Fockers. Oh, that's right. She plays the mom of Ben Stiller, right? Yes. Like she's a, they're like hippy dippy, right? Yes. Hippy dippy. She's like a healer. Yeah, yeah. Like a sex therapist. Love. With no boundaries. Love. I gotta, I gotta see that one. I haven't, I don't think I've seen it all the way through. Um, but I'm watching her in, uh, we're watching her in Funny Girl. Okay. And I I hope Barbara's not listening to this. I feel like the discourse is always that she's not good looking. I'm watching this no, going, she's gorgeous. what are you talking about? No, yeah. I mean, she is so beautiful. But like, it's like Liza. She's not, she's not like a sex pot, right? But she's, but they're gorgeous and they're super, super talented. I think that's like the, the, the main thing. The voice is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's mega, her hair it's mega in what? that movie. In which one? Funny her girl? hair and funny girl. What is her that? Her makeup. It's like the 60s oh, the, the gorgeous. Loren, oh like, yeah, cunty. Her skin. Yeah, all of beautiful. it. I'm like, she looks fucking great. She yeah. sounds great. She's like, oh, legend. If you had to be one of those um, classic divas who's still alive, like, wh- wh- who would you tra- who would you transform into? But at their age or at their at their at any age, any age at all. Oh. I'd be Monica Bellucci. Who's that? She's an Italian actress. She was in um, Bram Stoker's Dracula, which I would just watch last night as one of the brides. She's so she's like probably the most beautiful woman in the entire world. Wow. The most, oh my God. You Ugh. wouldn't go for Dracula 2000? Dracula 2000? Remember that movie? No. Dracula, Dracula 2000. No. Dracula 2000? What was it's that? It's a Dracula movie from the year 2000. <laughs> what happens in that? Dracula <laughs> is alive in the year 2000. <laughs> I thought it was implied. <laughs> You're like, what happens in that? I'm like, well, a young woman gets a job at a law firm and uh, she sues she, PG and E. Yeah, she pulls her boobs up in a tiny little bra. <laughs> 
Hey, so like today's episode is sponsored by like liquid death. And with something that I like about liquid death is that compared to normal death, it's like more liquid. I mean, I'm backstage because I have late nights as a roadie. I forgot to tell you, I'm a roadie. And, you know, loading, unloading, reloading, other types of loading uh, it's really aggressive on my system. And I have a lot of long nights where I get really dehydrated and liquid death is great because it's a great way for my system to get replenished because I'm working with a lot of bands. Sometimes it's like Allison Chains. Sometimes it's like Jimmy Eat World. And sometimes it's Euro pop sensation Aqua. Their loading's a little lighter because it's not so many instruments, but you guys know what I mean. Why do they call it liquid death? Well, that's a great question. They call it liquid death because it'll brutally murder your thirst, bro. Liquid death also donates a portion of profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. And you know, I like to kill a lot of things such as microwaves because I think they kill food. And I'd like to kill every car on the road and just have public transportation because it's better for the environment. But it comes to thirst. That's one thing I'm okay with killing. Crack open that can on the air and take a chug. Oh, don't mind if I do. Sound effect. Mm. This one's Sever Lime, which is really great because it reminds me of a past relationship I had with my girlfriend, Polly. She and I kind of severed things because she fell in love with my other roadie friend, Brent, while we were on the road. And I like really didn't appreciate that because I'm like... Diva, if you're going to cheat on me, why would you cheat on me with somebody who's also gone? Again, Polly, you suck if you're listening to this. And I love to drink it out in public because people come up to you and say, hey, aren't you a roadie? And I go, yeah. And they go, are you drinking beer on the job? Couldn't you like get tipsy and slam your digits in a semi truck, bro? And I go, no, them just staying hydrated because it's just water. Liquid death looks like an alcoholic drink, but... Let's just say if I was having alcoholic drinks every day on the job, I wouldn't last very long as a roadie. And it's a big part of my identity. You can get free shipping of Liquid Death's Mountain Water, flavored sparkling and iced tea eight packs with Amazon Prime or grab a can or a case at your local 7-Eleven, Target, Walmart, Whole Foods or Instacart. Go to liquiddeath.com ball to check out all their healthy, infinitely recyclable beverages and find your closest retailer. That's liquiddeath.com slash bald. Liquiddeath.com slash bald. And don't forget, music is life. Do you have Verizon? Uh, I think so, yeah. You ever been to a Verizon premium retailer? Uh, no. Because there's so. Verizon, yeah. which is, hi, it's Verizon. Yeah. It's Verizon. This is a yeah. real Verizon. Yeah. Verizon premium retailer. Premium uh-huh. retailer. Run by Jesse Pinkman of Breaking Bad. What do you mean? Crooks. They, crooks. Oh, they, crooks. they gag you. Uneducated crooks. They gag you? They, they grift you? What I happened? went there to get my phone turned on because I had Apple Care. Yeah. So, and my phone broke and I had to go get the, the replacement yeah, turned yeah. on. Yeah, $50. That's not that much money. To get turned on. But, I already pay how much for phone service? $80 okay. a month? $100 a month? Oh my God, I know. That's so it. now I'm <sighs> paying to have the service. To- it's horrible. It's horrible. Am I a Nikki fan? <laughs> no. <laughs> T-Mobile will open my legs and eat my pussy. <laughs> on the curb. On the curb. While pushing you down the On hill. the curb. <laughs> Verizon. And I kind of feel like after all these years, like I've where's been the, Verizon like yeah, 10 Where's years. the loyalty um, bonus? Where's like the, the appreciation? And they said to me, mm. and I had so much trust. Yeah. And they said Betrayal. to me, they said to me, well, how much do you pay for? They said, let me ask you, how much you pay for your internet? Mm. And I said, here we go. Oh you know God. what? I'm a saleswoman myself. I like to see what you got. You know, oh my God. because as good as I am at selling things, mm. I am ironclad. When it comes to entering me, I got sutures. <laughs> oh my, my pussy God. stitch <laughs> shut. God. All right. <laughs> like, so I'd love um, to see you try, honey. She goes, what are you paying for your internet? And I mm. go, all right. I'm in a kind of good mood. Mm-hmm. My new arthritis medicine's working. So Love. now I'm open to conversation. Yeah. I've turned back into a nice person. Yeah. And she goes, I go, oh yeah. It's like, God, a spectrum, spectrum internet is, I'm not kidding. I don't want to put spectrum on blast. My spectrum's like at least a hundred dollars a month. It's crazy. Yeah. Spectrum's it's, fucking crazy. It's, it's all of it is awful. Spectrum's fucking crazy. Do you, God you have a problem cable? with it? Do you have cable? Like, what do you get? No. Nothing. Just nothing. internet. Just internet. I oh, think it's that's like the robbery of it. That's the robbery. Like it's, I don't understand any of that crap. I it's think it's like, like 120. Oh crazy. Grifters. And because we do content creation, mm-hmm. I try to pay for the best internet so I can you know, send large files, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And she goes, okay, great. And by the end of it, I'm checking out, I'm getting my little phone case, my clear phone case, because mm-hmm. even though this is the titanium iPhone 15, you can still smash it apparently. Love. 
I got camera covers to mm. protect the cameras. Okay. And they put a privacy screen cr- screen thing on there. So okay. now I can look at hardcore porn on the phone. <laughs> On the, plane. On, on, the, yeah, on the plane or on the subway. Yeah, I can use I love my it. TikTok camera to look at dicks. <laughs> I love so, it. So, by the way, on a plane, I feel like if you look at my camera, you see what you see. You're peeping. Yeah, absolutely. You're I don't peeping. like that I looked in your windows and saw you naked in and the bathtub. Saw, like, you show in whole. Yeah, right. fierce. And she goes, okay, well, let me ask you. And I tell her how much. Mm. And she goes, all right, I got you. Uh, this is what I got you on. I got you. It's going to save you this much a month. I said, great. Mm. She said, and you're going to have all these channels and you're going to have a second phone line. A second, you and want a second phone? I'll get send you home with the router today, so uh-huh. you can get it all hooked up. And I said, and, but I, that was she went from how much do you pay for internet to, to like all of that? And I said, you have skipped some steps in the salesmanship, Mary. yeah, Grifti, Griftina. You got at least, at least ask me if I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> you got to take me out to dinner first. Something. Fuck. And by the end, I said. Oh. Did you just pull the plug right then and there or no? Yeah, she goes, well, you have an outdated plan. So if I give you this, re- if I put your, if oh, I put please. you on this plan with cable, it's actually less. Okay. And I said, well, is there a plan with no cable that's less? Yeah. Because I would like that, Miss Honey. What'd she say? Because I'm with David Silver. Yeah. We have every TV service there is. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. You got like ESPN 16. We have golf yeah, everything. in Japan yeah, yeah, yeah. from <laughs> space. Love. We have all of it. Okay. So I was like, and, and she she was so mm. I felt bad striking down the hand of a strong career woman, oh, but I said, I just don't want, <laughs> I just don't want more cable. Yeah. 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 So what'd you do? Did she you said, her? what TV shows you watch? I said, nothing. Mm. <laughs> I don't really watch TV. I don't. And so <laughs> yeah. I said like, sometimes on YouTube, I watch back episodes of trading spouses. Do you have something for that? <laughs> Damn, they can't get you. They can't get me. They can't get you. Can't, you. Can't, you, can't, you can't game a gamer. You can't play yeah, yeah, a player. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Um, my God, Miss Easter Basket. Miss Easter Basket. Yeah. Is Easter your favorite holiday? <laughs> <sighs> what is your favorite holiday? I mean, Christmas, obviously. Christmas. Yeah. Nothing beats Christmas. I know the rebirth of Jesus. I like yeah. when he dies. Wait, Christmas is his birthday. Christmas is his. Well, I mean, it's, when does he die? He doesn't. No, he dies around. Um, he dies. Wait, he dies on Good Friday, right? What's yeah. so good about it? Well, because it's like it it becomes good retroactively. He was only dead. He was only dead three days. Yeah. What's so fucking impressive about that? <laughs> well, it's three it's days. not like it's he was qu- bones in the mummy. Well, I mean, but he was definitely they they, they went in on uh, Saturday with the defibrillators. Of course, they right. went on they went on Sunday with the um with the um what do you call that the um the uh the huh, the Pulp Fiction adrenaline needle that didn't work, and then um, they just let him be on Monday, and then or um, uh, Saturday, Sunday. Did he crawl out of a grave? I'm not being funny. No, no, he out of a cave, cave, cave. There was a big stone, you know. It was pretty fierce. It's pretty fierce. Yeah, it's pretty fierce. It's like a tomb. St- well, the tomb, you know. It was pretty fierce. You don't know. I don't about- think he was dead. You know, I think it was I th- this. I don't think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. A baker, baker, yes, goodness, because baker. In that, yeah. in the Romy, 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 Michelle, Romy and Juliet, <laughs> they take the potion to seem dead. Yeah. You don't think Jesus could play Jesus. dead? I think Jesus was the ultimate. He was doing commun- community theater, right? Community theater. Jesus no. Christ. He was doing Jesus Christ superstar. I don't think he. I don't even think he really existed. But that's just that's a that's just me. I think he was like um, they just made up a whole thingy. I think he was a queer POC, a sapphic NB. Well, he was, he was, um, he actually was a, um, a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 Verizon premium retailer. <laughs> he was a model for one of those, um, <laughs> TikTok haircut videos. <laughs> <laughs> he and came said, in after yeah, he died, he went yeah. and sat in a chair and some girl yeah. was like, can I touch your hair? And, he, and he's like, well, have you, yeah. And he said, have you, she's like, so you're back to life. <laughs> And we want to see the new you. What about some front foils here? But we're going to maintain the integrity of the hair. Now I have oh to ask God, you, I, Jesus, ooh. is there box dye in the hair? Or was it professionally done? Thank you. These are the questions that true Christians are not even willing to ask. But what's a true Christian? A true Christian is someone who can, um, who can, I think someone who can be wheeled down a, a hill in a wheelchair and then get hit by a tsunami and still not die. I think if you're a real Christian, you should be able to pick the real Santa out of a lineup of mall Santas. Oh my God. Have you read, or do you get into Santa porn? Let's take a break. <laughs> Santa porn? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it's he, like a genre, like holiday it, porn. He like comes down the chimney and you oh. catch him and he's like, no, usually, fuck you you, now. usually it's mall Santa. 
it's mall Santa, like a group of um group of eighteen year old boys. <laughs> I meant like not little boys. A group of 18 year old boys celebrating a birthday. <laughs> no, 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 like, like, yeah. <laughs> it's not Pedo, I swear to God. Do it's you have like, a private plane that you want to fly out of the country? Yeah, yeah. Is your last name Epstein? <laughs> My God. I still, every once in a while, not every once in a while, probably like once a day, twice a day, I think of Stephen Hawking on the Epstein jet. And I just can't get enough. I don't think it was true, by the way. But anyway, back to, back to Mall Santa. It's, a, it's like sitting on rich? the lap. Hawking? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he was... R- like like Steve Jobs rich? Not... I mean, he had to have been very wealthy. I mean, he was... He must have been. Right. Yeah. I mean, how... That chair was very expensive. Well, I mean, it's... It, it, it is. It's not like... I meant like... I know he was super smart, but did he like invent something or was he like a CEO of something? I actually don't know what this person was doing. I don't know. I don't think there's any way to figure it 20 out 20 million. Yeah, see? Girl, 20 million? Yeah. You don't have to go to an island. If he rolled in here, I said. <laughs> well, apparently somebody, um, there was, a, so uh, yesterday, somebody that we both know said, I uh, told a story about um, a notorious figure in the press um, getting a BJ at uh, the Cannes Film Festival. And he described it as the girl, uh, the, the young model uh, that was going to town. Going to town, like oh, crazy. Right. Going to town, which is different than Little House on the Prairie, because then going to town was like a full half day thing. Oh my god! It was a huge, and all the. I mean, they don't talk enough about the jostling in the carriage because that was like wreaked havoc on your your um, on your joints. But it was great because when I wanted to get pregnant, <laughs> I would get on top of my husband. <laughs> On the and way then to we get, would just ride to town and no to one town. has to do anything. That's true. You're on your way to, to get your uh, your bag of sundries and victuals. Yeah. Do you like the word victual? What is that? I'm not really sure. Do you believe that if you want to get pregnant, you can do like um, lay on the ground, legs up, that type of shit with the cum in you? I mean, that's what that's what If These Walls Could Talk Part 2 would have us believe when Sharon Stone and Ellen DeGeneres played a lesbian couple who were trying to get artificially inseminated. Right. Like, Sharon Stone, you saw it, right? Yes. Yeah. Sharon Stone, never forget the wacky like uh, wife. And she was on the way home from the hospital. She was in the convertible with the legs through the air. I don't think. Did you watch that? These Walls Could Talk too. That's that's where that one's from. Yeah. The one with the older women. Oh my God. Vanessa Redgrave. It, it was so heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. If the young Luzzies of today don't I know. know. It was so I think heartbreaking. They only know TikTok Luzzy shit. I don't think they know so about heartbreaking. shit. Or Cher as an abortion doctor. Yes. That was... I remember she's like, all right, you're all set. And you handle that like a trooper. And they killed her. Nobody gives Cher enough flowers for her acting, by the way. Yeah, I would say Cher in general is under-celebrated with her Oscars and Grammys. No, no, no. But I mean like, no, but she's- She needs to get discovered. No, it's not that. It's just like, because she's so- Nowadays, she's so- I mean, she's so what? She's in her 70s. She's C-SPAN. That's her job. I know. She call in like, where are you calling? Hey, me? Malibu. Yeah, I can't. I'm calling from Malibu. But do you? I mean, she did so many things. Like yeah. the sheer volume of of like. I mean, you. I was watching the sheer on YouTube. volume. The sheer volume. <laughs> the sheer intensity of her work <laughs> ethic was just staggering. Like, um, it was just like I saw a super cut of just clips from like maybe three years of the Sunny and Cher show, and oh my god, yeah. so many costumes. The costumes, Balts. the hair, Balts. that the long rip-aways. black hair with. Two blunt pieces on oh, the yeah. cheek. Cunty. Fucking. Cuntyliciousdiva.com. Beautiful. Yeah. She's the diva. I yeah, mean, she really is. 60 you, share is something else. I, yeah. I mean, I love like Mackie era share and all that, but like oh, 60 so, share, era share, Shara. Shara. And she's, oh my God. I mean, the Witches of Eastwick share is always just like, oh my God. Miss Boop. So good. The big curly hair. I didn't realize they're all wearing, you know, when I was watching that younger, of course I didn't realize that those were all wigs. I, I just I didn't never know. know. I I never knew. I it never did figured, not occur to me. It didn't ever occur to me that anybody was ever wearing a wig. Ever in every single movie, someone is wearing a wig. Most people, in fact. Yes. Yeah. And most people for old movies, the wig tech's not that bad because it's no. not HD. No, it's it's flawless. It's yeah. flawless, and the wig technology has not improved since. I don't I, think. N- not at Netflix. Did you see the Did you see the screen grab? No, what What What? You know Millie Bobby Brown, the actress. Yeah. Um, 11 from Stranger Things. Yes. Yeah. There's apparently like the cover art for a Netflix program. People Visible are zooming lace. in and seeing like the miss. But 
It's not just visible lace. It's Miss Gay America 1998 screen no. door plastic oh, no. it's the, wig. It's the brown um, screen. Yeah, the brown screen door. And I have Terrible. to say, not Chicken I like wire. to watch having the best wigs on Netflix sometimes. I know. Not it's, it's this. Not not that. It's so, it's hateful. I know. I remember watching an episode of Killing Eve. Because you and I's wigs are not that good sometimes. No, but like, uh, the I remember watching a, a, an episode of Killing Eve where you could see a whole strip of glue with a like peeking through lace on in a character. And I was like, well, damn, that's hateful. Truly hateful. Yeah. Hateful and rotten. I have something else to tell you. Okay. Dave Silver went to see Dune. <sighs> he said, like you said, the costumes were cunty. They were, you know, it's like, I, they were so amazing. Like the, it, gag worthy. There and he said so this, many... the length didn't bother him. Nope. No. That's what she said. Yeah, no, the, I mean, the length was a, li- it was a little lengthy and I think I'm li- literally just biding my time until someone makes a, like a super cut of um, all the scenes without Timmy and um, Zendaya. All due respect, lovely people, but just by far the least visually co- uh, compelling portion of the, the film, the Harkonnens. I mean, oh, the fact that we were not approached and then curb stomped to be in that movie. You know, it's, it's I will just say, so hateful. It's so hateful. I know we've talked about this before, but us being compared to Austin Butler in any way is so leagues beyond no, what no, we no, normally no, no, get no. compared to. Yes, yes. That's the best it's compliment the best. we've ever I mean, gotten. I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I was telling a lot of last night, it's like, I don't want a line in this movie. I don't want to ruin the movie. No. I just want to be an extra visible for maybe 0.5 seconds. I just want to observe. Yeah. That would have been amazing for you. I would have loved it. Also, because it's like, it is a pretty impressive, like, it's just a pretty impressive production. It's just like, oh my God, it's so good. We it's should start so good. saying movies we want to be in. Well, there's going to be a third. So I think I'm going to, today starts the campaign. Absolutely. And Denis they just announced Villeneuve. the Sims movie. Now, what is that going to look like? I Are don't people know, walking like this? But I want in. Have we talked about the Sims on Barbie? Porn? And I won't be no. the baby put in the corner again. Because I love the Sims. What about the Skims movie? No. Do I have you, to you, start wearing shapewear. <laughs> Do you you don't wear skims? Have you tried them? I can't wear panties. It would spoil the lines. <laughs> spoil the lines. <laughs> spoil the lines. It would spoil the lines. Whoa. Now, Wait, back to Dune. Back to Dune. Mm-hmm. Lady, um, so I just there's a scene where um uh Lady Jessica drinks the water of life into like it's a whole like weird transformation in witchy process, and there's this gurgling blue moment that's like it's like I've I've never had like full body goosebumps like more in a, in a film than it, I've seen three times. It's when, it, when, so when it comes cunty. to video, are you gonna watch at home too? Oh, I'm going to. It's it's Goon Part Two because now you'll be Goon. able to do the double feature. So, well, that's a little. So that would be too much because I think like it is eight hours. It's film. I mean, it's like that's like almost <laughs> six, six and a half hours. It's too too much. But I gotta tell you, guess who's gonna guess who's uh, going to see a Laboda? Are you tomorrow. going again? Tomorrow? No, I haven't gone yet. Didn't you see her in the green? Oh, yo, yes, yeah, in my in Miami. So absolutely. you're giving her another shot. Well, she's coming to LA. Okay. So this is a little bit different. Plus, she when she released, she recently released a video that is so. I mean, this this this. I think she had a BBL or something. Oh, okay. But she like this. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty cunty. Literally, she has this. Um, she's wearing this leotard that has three inches deep up her vagina. And she's really letting it like sashay, shante, glamour on the runway. So hopefully she's bringing that energy to the concert. Otherwise, I will be killing myself. I was going to say, I don't want you to set yourself up for no, 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 no. disappointment I'm, because no. of what happened last time. I'm going there with yellow suit, the Jim Carrey, the mask in mind. And then hopefully my expectations will be exceeded because she last really- Last time you had to go to Florida? Right? Yeah, yeah, Miami. But not even just Miami. Like we spent a day in Miami and then we had to travel like quite a bit to a casino outside of Miami. Girl- it was rotten. Oh, it was rotten. Well, Rot- this time it was at least she's coming, You know, if you, it is disappointing, yeah, you, it's a forty minute ride home. Whatever. It's it's very it's very close by in Hollywood. Into- yeah, yeah. I'm not. I think so. Yeah. Wow. I know. It's, I'm going to be. I'm really this interested. Is huge. Yeah. Does she like you? No. I do not believe that she cares for me. One. Is so, a ding dong? I yes. I so I was telling um, uh, the Killingsworth folks yesterday. I was like, uh. Because our, our manager asked if, like, you know, do you want me to see if you can go backstage? And I was like, I don't think that's something that she'd be interested in. Right. Because I believe, and I could be wrong, that Ding Dong outstreamed her on Spotify for Boom Boom. But um, 
She should be. She should be honored. Um, I don't. I mean, I bet <sighs> Amish Paradise has more streams than Gangster's Paradise. Like sometimes the the parody does better, and that's yeah. like, that's yeah, part yeah. of it. I think I I don't know that this is true because it's hard to like it, the language barrier prevents a lot of like what's the real tea. But she, I've been told from p- sources in and around Russia and Ukraine that she's a humorless person. But that's tough. I mean, she really looks like she's giving detox though. She really has Good lips. Her. Their lips are like half of her face. It's it's pretty. It's wild. Good for her. Yeah. Oh, she's hot. She's like, it's crazy. I got to show you this this video. You'll get. I mean, it. if your your life and your body is dedicated to like sexuality and pop music, oh, she's go for it. She's go bringing the, it. She's there's bringing. There's really no substitution to going, going under the, the knife. knife. She's def, She's shades of Naomi Small's legs, lips, and that's and like hair down to her butt. It's incredible. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, Naomi's everything. Oh yeah, yeast infection. Naomi, she walks in. Mm-hmm. Attack tall, of the fifty tall, foot tiny woman. body. Attack of the tall, fifty foot tall, woman. Tall, tiny body. Yeah. And this, I feel like she jokes that her legs are long in person. They're it's so, not a joke. The proportions are so out of control. She makes you want to lay down and, and close your eyes yeah. and go to sleep. She like if she came in, she'd be like, What's up, Humpty and Stumpty? Like, uh, what's uh, up, Humpty Stumpty, bitch? You like you troll, uh oompa loompa body have an ass bitch. Like it's so hateful. Hateful. What do girls like that? What, what the, must they think of us? I think that they think we're potato-faced Humpty bitches who should go kill themselves. No, I, that's I don't th- the name of the pod. <laughs> I love sometimes when the name of the episode just pops out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let, I mean, oh god! But I want to know, like, what is the what? Is, her center of gravity is like. It's just so crazy. It's just so wild. The physics of her body are un, like unimaginable she, to me. I mean, it really is like a brat doll. Yeah. No, no. It's like it's like a Barbie doll. Yeah. Because those legs are so. It's crazy. It's yeah. wild. It's wild boots. All right. Okay. Well, happy Easter. Happy Easter. He has spritz and he go, has sloth. Go, go. Um. Oh, I can see your eggs from here. Oh, shit. Your country breakfast is ready. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>